Hello, sexy people. So over the last four months or so, I've seen a few occasions where people are having issues with text scaling within Windows. This will sometimes happen within Windows itself, like within the File Explorer, or I've also seen it happen with Office applications like Outlook. Some text scaling will be very high, like say 150%, 200%, or even more than that. And then other text scaling will be much lower than that. I wanted to take you through some ways to actually fix this problem. It's just happened to me a few seconds ago where this text here became much bigger than this text here, but it's a bit hard to replicate that. So what you do is right click on the desktop and go display settings, scroll down a little bit, change the scaling to 125%, change your display resolution to something lower. I'm not going to do that here because I might screw up the video, but just change your resolution to something else. And there's one more option within the accessibility settings. And then you go to text size, change the scaling of this to just something different and then apply that. I hope that didn't mess up the recording too much. So once you've done that, sign out of your computer. What I like to do to sign out, do control alt delete and then sign out. Or you can go down the bottom here, click on your profile icon and then sign out. Sign back in, change the settings back to how you want them. The text size, the display scaling, as well as the display resolution. Sign out again and sign back in. And that should definitely fix the problem. But there is something a bit further. I have a suspicion that for some people, this won't be a permanent fix. And I think it's an inherent problem with the Windows install. I have a feeling that this is the case for me. What I'm going to actually have to do is run a reinstall of Windows. So I'll go reset this PC, choose keep all my files. It will remove the programs and then do a fresh install of Windows. There is another way to repair Windows files. I don't usually like recommending this option because it's only good for specific cases, but open up command prompt CMD, run it as administrator, and then type in the command chkdsk slash F. This is a well-known command. It'll go through your Windows installation and make sure there's no corrupt files. It'll ask for a restart when it restarts, it will repair those files. There hasn't been too many cases where this has fixed a Windows problem for me, but there definitely has been some cases where this is fixed. There is also other commands like SFC slash scan now, which is another system file check. That's what SFC stands for. And there's also DISM slash online slash cleanup dash image slash restore health. I'll put these commands in the description for you. There is also something to note. Windows is a monster of an operating system and there are a lot of bugs with it with individual installations. Sometimes it's best to keep in mind like when you're looking at an article or something like that and it's telling you to edit the registry and it's not the actual thing you should be doing to fix the computer. Sometimes what you need is a fresh install of Windows. I hope this has been of some help to you and good luck with your Windows install. If it did help you, pop the video a like for me. It warms my heart. Thank you. Bye bye.